Alert tonight, parts of Cimarron and I-25 will be closed as reconstruction continues. It's the second largest highway project in Colorado Springs history. We're getting an update on this multi-million dollar project. KRDO News Channel 13's McKellia White talked with drivers about the project who are dealing with temporary headaches in traffic. The story is new at 5. If you've driven along I-25 in Cimarron recently, this scene probably looks all too familiar. Ongoing construction and stressful delays. Elizabeth Silas says she sees those delays daily. A lot of road construction, a lot of congestion. Silas commutes from Colorado Springs to Pueblo for work. I come back into Colorado Springs, there's about a 30 minute delay of slowing of traffic. CDOT spokesperson Bob Wilson says those delays should be alleviated in the next couple of years. The Cimarron Interchange Project will add a new bridge structure and connect 8th and Cimarron by 2017. And Wilson says there will be other benefits. Part of the project includes removing trees from this area and reconstructing Fountain Creek. That interchange right now is about 55 years old. With the increase of traffic and population that we've seen over those 55 years, it's going to definitely enhance traffic flows through that area. Something Silas says she looks forward to. This area will be much happier once it's complete. Happier and hopefully facing less traffic. In Colorado Springs, McKellia White, KRDO News Channel 13. Thank you, McKellia. Hopefully, definitely <laughs> less traffic indeed. We'll find out. <laughs> Closures start at 9 tonight and continue through 5 a.m. And they continue through Friday. Drivers can expect major closures starting in the spring when construction will start up again. Tonight, two men are still in the hospital, one in critical condition and the other with serious injuries after falling from a 75-foot cliff in Colorado Springs. It happened near Cottonwood Creek in the 6600 block of Bethesda Point last night on the city's north side.